This is As It Is in Heaven in the key of C. And this is a very simple way to chord and play along to this song. I hope you have a lot of fun. Make sure to stop the video. If you click right below, you will find the link to the chord sheet that I have that you can print out and it'll make a lot more sense as we dive in. All right, so I've kind of kept this song down to the basic chords. Um, we have C, F, G, a minor, and then they threw in a little D major chord as well. So let's jump in. I'm going to actually show you the F chord first. So if you look for this group of three black notes, you will find the F kind of to the left of those. Play every other note, F, A, C, and that's our F major chord, okay? Freeze that shape in your hand, kind of every other note. Move it up just one note position and play every other note again, and we're on the G position here, so it's G major chord, G, B, D, okay? All right, again, kind of freeze that shape, move up here, A position, so we have A, C, E, making up our A minor chord, okay? Let's scoot up two sets of notes, and we're in the C position. C is found by this group of two black notes. To the left of those is C, E, G. Okay, we have our C major chord there. They did throw in a D major chord, which is not typically a chord that's in this key, but move up one set of notes and then pick up this black note in the middle. It's gonna be the only sharp, only note in the black color that you play, only black note. And we have D, F sharp, A. And how I like to remember this um, chord is a simple triangle shape. D, F sharp, A, we have the F sharp being the tip of that triangle, okay? so. That's it, those five chords, C, F, G, A minor, and D. Okay, what left hand is gonna be doing, I like to keep things really simple when starting out. We put thumb on C, and then we're gonna play C chord, okay? Single notes down here. D to D, so D triangle over here. And notice how my thumb just opened up slightly to the next note and played that D. I didn't move my hand out of position because I don't want to lose where I'm at. Okay, and then our F to F, G to G, single notes over here, and A minor chord in our right hand to A single note. Okay, so I'm going to sing and play through verse one so you can see how it sounds when we add in those vocals um, and the rhythm, and then I'll break down what we're going to do for the rhythm, okay? Our Father who art in heaven fast, upbeat song. It has kind of a fast tempo, um, but you can obviously play it as slow as you need to so that your chords are playing together really smoothly. So what we're doing to bring the two hands together, this song is written in four, four time signature. And so that just tells us how many beats ha are in each measure. If you were looking at it from a traditional perspective. So we're going to simplify that and say one to two ratio. And what that means is we're going to play together. And then we're just going to play the right hand by itself together, right, together, right, together, right, together, right, and so on. You can practice that on C chord, G chord, wherever you'd like. You can even just practice it like this, getting your hands used to playing that nice, steady, marching rhythm. Okay. So I also want to talk about patterns because when you notice um, repetition in your music, it really helps take out that overwhelm. So it looks like lines one and three of the verses are repeating as well as lines two and four. Okay. If we also look at the song as a whole, I think there's two verses. Yep. And they are the exact same. So repetition there. Um, Let's also talk about four chord progression. So that just means four chords that are repeated maybe over and over. So the bridge has these four chords that repeat through this progression. C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. So there's that four chord group that goes together. Um, also take a look at the chorus. Same thing. C, G, A minor, F. C, G, A minor, F. 
So really we have that four chord progression for the chorus and the bridge, and then the verses are the exact same. So lots of repetition. Um, I guess the pre-chorus is altogether different. It's throwing in that D chord, and there's really not anything repetitive about the pre-chorus. There's just two lines. So it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So I would suggest when you're learning this song with me to just play right hand only and then left hand, and then bring those two hands together, and that's another baby step to get to the final playthrough. Okay, so let's work on um, just going through the verse one together. So we're going to play this together, right, together, right. And I write the chord above the word or the syllable in which that next chord change happens. So just be mindful of that and learn to anticipate the next chord change coming up as well. Okay. Our Father who art in. Move to the G position. Heaven. Move down. Step down, come and let your glory step down again, fall. Okay, so now we're repeating lines one and two again with lines three and four. Okay, so we're just going through that same chord progression. It's like six chord progression. Okay, C chord on our father. Our father who art in G, heaven. cry out your fame. A minor. Come and let your glory step down. Come and let your glory step down again to the F. Fall. Okay. That pre-chorus stays on the F and then merges into the D triangle. So let's go. I will sing, sing a new song. Opens this thumb, <clears throat> excuse me, thumb up one single note, okay? Sing, sing a new song, I will. A minor. Sing, sing a G. New song to the F board. Great. Okay, let's merge into that chorus. The chorus has the same four chord progression as we talked about with the bridge. C, G, A minor, F, loop back through. Okay. Let your kingdom come, let your will be. G, done on A minor. Earth as it is in F, heaven, every heart pro C. through that chorus if you want, or you can go into verse two, go back to the chorus, whatever you'd like to do there. Let's take a look at that bridge. Okay. So we have the C chord, G, A minor, F, repeat, right? So we just came off of that chorus. Oftentimes choruses lead into bridges. So you're coming off of that same four chord progression, going to bleed right into that bridge. Okay. For the kingdom is yours and the G power is yours and chords and the kingdom is yours in the G power is yours in the A minor glory forever A F Men. let your kingdom come okay so you can go back into the chorus if you'd like um, or you can go back into that pre-chorus even you know I will sing sing a new song and then go into the chorus. You know, with chording, there's so much flexibility, so much musical freedom. I hope you find that in your music so you don't have to be so locked in to playing it a certain way or like the original. If you're just doing this for your own enjoyment, who cares, right? You're just having fun. Um, all right, so I'm going to play beginning to end. This is the time where you can hop in and join with me. Um, when you mess, mess up, just find your next chord, word, syllable, uh, and keep going. All right, here you go. Let your glory come and let 
Let your king. 